Hello Indie Game fans, some of you might not know this, but I do have an official website at thebestindiegames.com where you can find a personal blog, some best of lists which need updating, and of course, the all-important contact page where you and indie developers can get in touch. I do receive a number of game submissions from there, so here are 10 fantastic indie games to watch. For a thousand years it lay entombed beneath the earth. And a thousand years, it waited. Darkness shall sweep the land once more. Let's begin with Mako Beyond the Brief, a hand-drawn metroidvania from a Bulgarian developer, and as someone who loves connecting with developers from all over the world, made this a title of interest. It's no secret that I love Metroidvanias, but the hand-drawn art is a nice change of pace as compared to the usual pixel art. You're in the mythical land of Zagora, which draws upon both Balkan and Slavic folklore, caught in the middle of an ancient conflict as you fight your way through. The animation does look a little stiff, so let's see how this develops, where as of publishing, there's less than 24 hours left of its already successful Kickstarter campaign, but do hop on over to check it out. Arise, you wretched of the earth. I know your name, Kalturin, and you are bound to me by the blood spent revitalizing you. Listen, I am not unreasonable. I offer you a path to regain your freedom by doing my bidding. A smaller title that is releasing very soon is Kelturin, a pixel art boss rush bullet hell title where our hero is resurrected by a necromancer and must defeat a host of bosses in order to regain his freedom. I like the pixel art, but the gameplay is similar to something like Fury, although perhaps not as polished. It does have an upgrade system as well and could be a hidden gem. Mage, and do not fail me if you value your life. I was immediately won over by the look of Saibo, a top-down action title that's so sleek with the black, red, and grey. It's set in an occult sci-fi universe, of course having strong vibes of Hotline Miami and even eep out with the action and visuals. So me being me, of course I'm in. As with most action titles, I'm interested in the progression system, if any, where the description states that it has a rich variety of destructive and strategic weapons, as well as several powers which completely change the gameplay, so let's see if they deliver on that promise. I'm gonna plug something here since I do have my own partnered storefront on nexus.gg, where I've created a bunch of the latest and greatest indie games that you can buy. Of course, I do get a cut of the proceeds, but I believe the developers do get a better deal as compared to Steam, so do hop on over to browse the selection. This one's neat since Samurai Shampoo is a completely free action roguelite where you play as the titular samurai who must delve into the dungeon to retrieve his stolen shampoo. Yes, it's nonsensical in setup and there are rough edges in the UI and font treatment especially, but it was made in 9 weeks from a student team and for free, why not give it a go? This is K. This is Kika. They have pets. Oh, aren't they cute? 
But terrible villains are brainwashing them. <laughs> I know that some of you have been asking for videos on 3D platformers, but there really aren't that many to form a compelling video. But if you do love this genre, one to watch is Cuckoo's Lost Pets, an adorable title where you're trying to free your brainwashed pets from some evil villains. I don't think it's me, but the trailer does drop frames, which is not a great look. But other than that, if it does run smoothly, it does seem to be pretty neat. Cute candy coloured world, as well as the requisite collectibles, puzzle elements, and more, makes this one to watch in the space. Free your friends! Are you cook enough to save them? No, what you're looking at is not Death Stranding, but rather Cognition Method, which has a prologue demo that I've linked below, a story-driven first-person puzzle game inspired by Space Odyssey 2001 and Solaris. I love the cinematic presentation here, showing a surreal world that has to be inspired by MC Escher, where flipping gravity seems to be the main mechanic here. While not as stunning as something like Manifold Garden, this nonetheless has a surreal charm to it, where I do hope that the developers manage to meet those expectations, so check out the demo and wishlist the main game if interested. A smaller awesome shoot 'em up that you might have missed is Task Force Compass, where the next title from this developer is El Gancho, one that looks to star the same dinosaur like characters but as a grappling hook focused roguelite platformer instead. The grappling hook, if done right, can be one of the most fun mechanics in games due to the sheer exhilaration of locomotion. The roguelite procedural generation, 10 playable characters, 6 bosses, secrets and a challenge mode rounds off the package, where most interestingly, this is fully released but only on itch.io at the moment, so get it there if interested. One of the most impressive upcoming titles that I came to know of via the website is Star Fetchers, an action platformer whose free demo on Steam has already gotten more than 5,000 Steam reviews and a rating of overwhelmingly positive. Play as two thugs going after some gangsters where the use of the mouse to swing your sword gives it quite the unique feel. Interesting art style as well, and it does also have RPG mechanics, but the developers are trying to raise awareness for a future Kickstarter campaign for Episode 1, so check out the demo and wishlist for support. Looks like our people are clearing the coast already. What the fuck are they shooting? An entire 
fucking island. You will not believe how many zombie games I get emails about, so I was pleasantly surprised to find out that Project Z does actually look pretty alright. While I don't like the generic name, this is a co-op shooter set in World War II but with zombies actually having some impressive visuals and it's not some cobbled together mess like I have seen. There appears to be some sort of persistent world with individual missions and even a hub area, but I'm not quite sure what kind of game this is in terms of structure, but definitely something to watch. A game that nearly made my roguelite video yesterday is Metal Dogs, a title that I briefly mentioned in one of the videos in June, but we do have a new extended trailer. It's an action roguelite where you play as a dog armed with a rocket launcher, blasting away at tanks and giant bugs, so what's not to love? Interestingly, it comes to us from a Japanese developer, so I do hope that the localization is done well, and if so, could potentially be a great game in the space, making it a no-brainer pick and taking the number one spot. For more roguelite titles, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.